You are listening to Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast, and this is Text Adventure Tuesdays. We are playing The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, interactive fiction, text adventure game, first released in 1984. And we're playing this on Win Frots. These games that I've been playing, they really uh, help you or force you to use your imagination, your mind's eye. We've been playing the classic text adventure game version or adaptation of Douglas Adams' The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And what we're doing now is we're back on, on the... The Heart of Gold, we're dividing the, the adventure. It's a pretty long adventure. We're dividing it up into morsels that are easier to digest. We came back. Um, Arthur uh, recently has uh, was transported to an alien spaceship. He was able to calm the rage between two alien nations. And he also went inside a maze and explored his own brain and picked up his common sense. He's back after using the uh, improbability machine and he is uh, the uh, he's going to he's returned to the heart of gold to do some more adventuring. So I hope you have your your favorite cup of of synthetic tea, your dressing gown, your towel Babel fish uh, inserted directly into your ear and your Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy snug, snugly uh, fit, fit under your armpit. We're ready to get on with our adventure, continuing our adventure on the Heart of Gold. So uh, let's, we're back on the ship and I'm just looking at my inventory. You have no tea, an ultra plasmic vol vacuum all, a thing your aunt gave you, which you don't know what it is. A towel, a babel fish in your ear. All right. So let's look around. Um, look. Bridge. There, this is the bridge of the Heart of Gold. A gangway leads down and steam comes from an entrance to port. Next to the control console is Eddie, the shipboard computer. There is a nice hot cup of advanced tea substitute here. Lying on the deck is a plotter connected to a spare improbability drive. The plotter's long, dangly bit is submerged in advanced T substitute. There is a spare improbability drive here. There is a handbag here. A carton labeled Nutramat forward slash computer interface is sitting here. It looks like the shipping carton contains a strange gun. There is a sales brochure here. Your gown is here. There is a copy of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy here. There is an ionic diffusion rasp here. There is a pair of hypersonic pliers here. There is a pot pocket fluff here. There is an electronic sub ether signaling device here. There is a flathead screw screwdriver here. There is a toothbrush here. There is a satchel here. There is a molecular hyperwave pincer here. Uh, take pocket fluff. Taken. Okay. Inventory. Inventory. You have no tea, pocket fluff, and ultra plasmic vacuum all the thing your aunt gave you which you don't know what it is a towel a babel fish in your ear let's see what our next option will be look at spare improbability ability drive the spare improbability drive has a switch a long cord ending with a large plug and a short cord plugged into the atomic vector plotter it bears a small label which reads another fine product of the Sirius Cybernetics Corporation. Push switch. Like fog rolling in off the ocean, a shroud of blackness billows towards you. Unlike fog rolling in off the ocean, the blackness hits you like a 16-ton truck. Can't hear anything, see anything, smell anything, feel anything, or taste anything. You don't even know who you are, where you are, or who you are, or how you got there. According to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy uh, text adventure game walkthrough from IGN, when everything goes dark, after four turns, a sense will be missing. Type in this sense and a description of where you will. Oh, I get it. They will list a bunch of senses and the one that's missing with the one you would, you would choose. Then you are to type something to get out of the dark. 
All right, so sense, uh, feel. There's nothing you can taste, nothing you can see, nothing you can hear, nothing you can feel, and you don't even know who you are. What's, le what's left? Uh, taste, see, taste, sight, hearing, feeling, taste, sight, l hearing, feeling. That's four senses. The fifth, what's the fifth sense? Smell. Smell darkness. It does smell a bit. There's something pungent waving under your nose. Your head begins to clear. You can make out a shadow moving in the dark. Okay, here we go. Look at shadow. Lair. This is the lair of the ravenous bug bladder beast of troll. There are exits east and southwest. The ravenous bug bladder beast of troll is here looking particularly nasty and hungry. The beast whips its evil-smelling tail away from your nose and bellows a brain-shattering roar. By suddenly popping out of nowhere, you have disturbed its train of thought. However, since its train of thought was the usual one, and in fact the only one it knows, which goes like this, Hungry, 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 bad temper, hungry. It soon starts to chug along again. You notice the beast's Lazaro zap eyes, its swivel sheer teeth, and its several dozen tungsten carbide vast pain claws forge in the sun furnaces of Zangrijad. It has skin like a motorway and breath like a 747. It advances on you and roars out a demand that you say your name. You are listening to Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast. And this is Text Adventure Tuesdays. We are playing The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Interactive fiction, text adventure game, first released in 1984. And we're playing this on Win Frots. Video Gamers Oasis. Website, YouTube channel. 